Hi everyone, Drecky here, and this is a mini PC. It may not be as mini as the last mini PC I reviewed, but it's also way more powerful, so that makes up for the larger size. This comes from Mini's forum, and it's the model GN34, a full desktop PC in the palm of your hand, or something like that. It's running an Intel Celeron J3455 with 6 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of eMMC storage. As with most mini PCs in this form factor, the I.O. is pretty extensive. A full-size SD card slot, 3 USB 3 ports, HDMI, VGA, Gigabit Ethernet, and a headphone jack. Yes, a headphone jack. The box itself is made out of plastic, but it feels pretty solid overall. There's no real creaking or flexing to the frame, it just is a little bit hollow. Windows 10 came pre-installed, so setup is very easy and straightforward. Just plug in the power and video cables and turn it on. You're greeted with normal Windows setup and all you need to do is select your options and install all the programs you want. I installed a, some stress test software called Firmark just to see how this computer would handle running at full load for an hour or more. And guess what? It does! Yay! The computer did the things it's supposed to do! It can generate a whopping 5 frames per second on Firmark. However, we're not here after the FPS, we're here to run both the CPU and the GPU at full speed ahead for a long time as a good way to test the heat performance of the computer. The mini PC does have a fan in it which kicks in when it hits around 50 degrees Celsius, but it's not very loud overall. The good news is with the fan and the pretty low power processor, it maxed out at 62 degrees C which means that temperatures are pretty well managed overall. Despite the low power processor, day-to-day -day stuff is actually quite snappy. Programs launch at a reasonable pace, and web pages load pretty quick. The one thing that concerned me about the computer at first was the eMMC storage, as my previous experience with these eMMC mini PCs has been pretty hit or miss. But despite this clear bottleneck with the eMMC being functionally a mid-range SD card in terms of speed, Windows is still relatively zippy, only slowing down when it decides to update. Thanks, Windows. Also, if you are keen on faster speeds, there is the ability to install an M.2 SSD drive by unscrewing the four bottom screws of the case. As for other benchmarks, PC Mark 10, the computer scored a 1343, with a higher 3636 score in essentials such as program launch time and web browsing, but it was much lower at 981 for digital content creation. And this really goes to show what the computer is geared for primarily, watching online video, browsing Facebook, or even running some light point of sale software. And for those sorts of things it does great, but the second you launch games, well... Yeah, yeah, it can run some games to be fair, the older the better here. Many modern AAA titles will just outright fail to load or they're too large for the built-in storage, and the best you can hope for on older titles really is 30 frames per second at 720p with low medium detail. It's kind of hit or miss. What does work quite well, however, is Steam in-home streaming, so if you combine this computer with a more powerful desktop PC, you can use Steam to remotely access your game library on the big screen. Compared to the older Intel Atom-based mini PCs, it's night and day. Just look at these benchmark numbers. I know benchmarks aren't really everything, but this computer is almost twice as fast in benchmarks as the Intel Atoms. Content-rich web pages take half the time to load with the J3455, and also it can actually play 4K or 60 frames per second YouTube videos, which the Intel Atom has always struggled with. Overall, well, it's a tiny PC. You can slap it onto the back of your screen and it'll run pretty well for day-to-day -day stuff like video streaming. And I think it's super cool that you can get a full power computer in a box that sits in your hand. Well, I mean you could put a tower in your hand too, but you'd have to be pretty damn strong to hold it up. Hey, thanks for watching. Coming up I've got more camera reviews and a few other things so hang tight and subscribe now.
Thank you.